beneath a sky scattered with stars, you might find yourself wondering, what secrets lie hidden beyond those shimmering lights? Now picture a golden marvel, the James Webb Space Telescope floating silently in the vastness of space, its mirrors catching whispers of light from the dawn of time. This isn't just a telescope, it's a cosmic time machine, a detective unraveling the universe's greatest mysteries. In 2025, it turned its gaze to the heavens and uncovered discoveries so staggering, so impossible, that scientists across the globe were left speechless. Their models of the universe turned upside down. From galaxies that shouldn't exist to hints of alien life, let's embark on a journey through the cosmos, where every new image rewrites the story of everything. Let's start with a galaxy that's turned the cosmic rulebook into confetti, GNZ 11. This isn't just any galaxy, it's a glimpse into a time when the universe was a mere 400 million years old, a toddler in cosmic terms. Light from GNZ 11 has traveled 13.4 billion years to reach us meaning we're peering back to when the universe was just beginning to weave its tapestry of stars and galaxies. Scientists expected to find small, chaotic clumps of gas in this era, barely holding together as they formed the first stars. But GNZ 11, it's a cosmic overachiever. It's massive, structured, and blazing with light like a bustling metropolis in a universe that should still be a sleepy village. That's the kind of shock GNZ-11 delivered. Its bright core and sprawling structure suggest it was churning out stars at a ferocious pace, far faster than our models predicted. Scientists are now scrambling to understand how such a complex galaxy could form so quickly. Was dark matter? that mysterious glue holding galaxies together, working overtime? Did the early universe have some hidden spark we've missed? GNZ 11 isn't just a galaxy. It's a challenge to everything we thought we knew about the birth of the cosmos. This discovery alone would be enough to keep astronomers up at night, but GNZ 11 is just the beginning. Let's zoom closer to home, to a familiar blue giant in our own solar system, Neptune. This quiet, distant planet has always been a bit of an enigma, sitting at the edge of our cosmic neighborhood. James Webb turned its infrared eyes on Neptune and revealed a spectacle that left scientists stunned. Imagine vibrant, colorful auroras dancing across Neptune's surface, not the gentle, flowing curtains of light we see in Earth's polar skies, but wild, erratic bursts that look like cosmic lightning storms. These auroras, captured in stunning detail, pulse around a magnetic field that's oddly tilted, not neatly aligned like Earth's. It's as if Neptune is flashing a message in a language we're only beginning to understand. This discovery isn't just beautiful. It's a key to unlocking how planets interact with the solar wind, those charged particles streaming from the sun. Unlike Earth's auroras, which paint the sky in greens and purples, Neptune's are chaotic, tied to a magnetic field that's off-kilter, weaving through the planet's core in ways we don't fully grasp. This tells us that auroras are a universal language, a way for planets to talk to their stars 
and Neptune's conversation is louder and stranger than we ever imagined. Now, let's venture a little farther, about 100 light years away, to a young star called HD 181327. Surrounding this star is a swirling disk of cosmic debris, a nursery where planets might one day be born. James Webb peered into this disk and found something extraordinary. Crystalline water ice. Not just frozen water, but perfectly structured crystals, sparkling like diamonds in the starlight. These aren't ordinary ice cubes. These are the seeds of oceans, perhaps even of life itself. Picture a cosmic construction site where the raw materials for planets like Earth are being assembled. Alongside this ice, Webb detected traces of carbon, ammonia, and methane, molecules that are the building blocks of biology. It's as if we're watching the recipe for life being mixed in a distant corner of the galaxy. This discovery is a glimpse into the process that might have created our own blue planet billions of years ago. The ice sits in a region called the Snow Line, where conditions are just right for water to freeze, setting the stage for gas giants like Jupiter or rocky worlds like Earth. This isn't just a snapshot of a faraway star. It's a mirror reflecting the origins of our own world, a clue to whether Earth is a cosmic fluke or one of countless possibilities. But the real heart stopper lies 124 light years away on a planet called K. 218b. This world sits in the Goldilocks zone of its star. Not too hot, not too cold, just right for liquid water. In 2025, James Webb analyzed the light passing through K218b's atmosphere and detected something that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, this molecule is produced only by living things, like ocean plankton, tiny creatures that help shape our planet's climate. Finding DMS in the atmosphere of a distant planet is like stumbling across a neon sign flashing, life might be here. K218b isn't a rocky world like Earth. It's a Hycean planet a steamy ocean world with a thick hydrogen atmosphere and possibly a vast, warm sea beneath. Scientists are cautious. They need more data to confirm DMS's presence. But even the possibility is electrifying. Imagine a world where alien plankton drift in a global ocean, or maybe something even stranger lurks beneath the clouds. This discovery isn't proof of life, not yet, but it's the closest we've ever come to sniffing out the chemistry of another world that might harbor living things. It's a moment that makes you wonder, are we on the brink of finding our cosmic neighbors? As if that weren't enough, James Webb took us even deeper into the universe's past with a galaxy called J0107A, nicknamed the Star-Making Maniac. Billions of light years away, this compact fireball is a frenzy of creation, birthing stars at a rate that makes our Milky Way look like it's napping. What makes J0107A so special is its density. Stars and gas packed tightly together, surrounded by a massive halo of dark matter that acts like a cosmic scaffold, holding everything in place. Its light carries clues about the chemical makeup of the early universe. Elements like carbon and iron, the very stuff that makes life possible, were forged in its stellar furnaces. By studying J0107A, 
We are not just watching stars being born. We are seeing the raw ingredients of planets and maybe even life scattered across the cosmos. This galaxy is a time capsule, showing us how the universe went from a sparse void to a bustling cosmic metropolis. Now, let's pull back and look at the biggest picture of all, the cosmic web, the universe's skeleton. In 2025, James Webb helped create the most detailed map of this structure, a sprawling network of galaxies stretching across 10 billion light years. Picture a giant spider web, its glowing threads made of galaxies and star clusters woven together by gravity with vast, empty voids between them. It's like holding a cosmic sponge, where the dense parts are packed with stars and the holes are eerily empty. This map isn't just a pretty diagram. It shows how the universe grew from a hot, chaotic soup after the Big Bang into the intricate tapestry we see today. By tracing the light from these distant galaxies, scientists can measure how fast the universe is expanding and how dark matter and dark energy, those invisible forces driving the cosmos apart, shape its evolution. This map is a blueprint of creation, revealing the universe's architecture and our tiny place within it. It's humbling and thrilling all at once. Our little blue planet, tucked in a quiet corner of the Milky Way, is just one speck in this vast cosmic dance. Each of these discoveries, GNZ 11's impossible existence, Neptune's wild auroras, the crystalline ice around HD 181327K218B's tantalizing chemistry, J0107A's stellar frenzy, and the cosmic web's grand design builds a story bigger than any one piece. The James Webb Space Telescope isn't just capturing light, it's reading the universe's diary, page by page. Every image is a chapter, revealing how stars were born, how planets formed, and how the cosmos grew from a spark into a symphony of galaxies. But more than that, it's a mirror reflecting our own beginnings, the carbon in our bodies, the water in our oceans, the very air we breathe, all of it was forged in the hearts of ancient stars scattered across space and woven into the fabric of Earth. These discoveries aren't just about distant worlds. They're about us, where we came from, and whether we're alone in this vast universe. Scientists are on their knees, not in defeat, but in awe because with every new glimpse, we're not just exploring the cosmos, we're chasing the edges of our own existence, catching a reflection of our origins in the light of distant stars.